Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but a Cincinnati radio, Cincinnati radio station has offered WKRC has offered $2 million for documentary proof that Elvis is alive. Well, folks, <laughs> for the past several months, the NBC network has been doing exhaustive research, and I think we're the first person to make this claim. We have found Elvis Presley. <laughs> we tracked him down. He's living in a small cabin in Bismarck, North Dakota. <laughs> Apparently Elvis just got tired of running and he agreed to let us interview him tonight via satellite hookup from uh, station KFYR in, in Bismarck, uh, North Dakota. So uh, let's cut there now. Uh, Elvis, Elvis, are you there? Is Johnny Carson? Uh, uh, yes, sir, Mr. Carson, I'm here. Yeah. Elvis, I, I, I want to thank you very much for being with us. I, uh, we noticed that you've settled in Bismarck, North Dakota. Could you tell us, Elvis, what's the biggest difference between Bismarck and Memphis? Uh, probably the biggest difference, man. I never died in Bismarck. <laughs> now, Elvis, just to satisfy everyone that you're really Elvis, I'm going to ask you some rather personal questions that only Elvis could possibly answer. Would that be all right with you? Yes, sir. That'd be fine. Yeah. Uh, could you tell me, what was your Army serial number? I it was Private Presley, 533-10761, sir. Oh, by God, that's correct. Now, of course, we all know that's a matter of public record. You could have looked that up. So let me ask you a little tougher question. Who was your third grade teacher? Oh, man, I'll never forget. That it was Mrs. Jenkins. God, he's right on. Mm. <laughs> Uh, try this one. Now, when you were a teenager, you drove a Chevy, right? Uh, no, sir. It was a 48 DeSoto. Uh, yeah, you're right. That was a trick question. <laughs> then it's got to be him. And you tell us, Elvis, was there anything unusual about the passenger seat in that DeSoto? Uh, yes, sir. In fact, there was a stain on the seat cover, man. Uh -huh. All right, Elvis. Now, what caused the stain, and what was that stain shape like? Oh, man, that was a long time ago, Mr. Well, Carson. Well, do, do, the, do the best you can. Well, I, I remember that, that stain. It, it was caused by Orange Crush. That, that's right. And, and, man, that baby, it was shaped like a downtown skyline of Nashville, if you know My what I mean. God, right? that's yeah. it. That's yeah. what exactly. <laughs> wow. All right, here's another question, a little tougher. What did you carve on the tree outside your bedroom window at Graceland? Oh, that, that's easy, sir. It was E.P. loves P.P. Which stands for Priscilla Presley. Uh, no, sir. It stands for PP. I drank a lot of beer up in that room, man. <laughs> <laughs>